What's happening? I'll tell you exactly what's happening. Trying to mix it up for all of you guys. Good morning. Um, it's absolutely stunning here today. It's Saturday. Sun. Look at the sun. It's warm as well already. Um, done the post office in the bug this morning. But when I moved my car over there this morning, it was 18 or 19 degrees already at this time in the morning. And we are literally quarter to 11. So it's got a while's warming up yet. So quick video, brief video. Back on the 65 bug, I've noticed this week she's dripping oil, which I was a bit like, ah, do you know what? That's not good. I know old cars are going to drip a little bit anyway. But she's dripping a bit more than a bit <laughs> which is a bit like ah do you know what so what i'm thinking is because she literally she's so low she's so firm as well there's literally no give in the suspension it is what it is you just doosh doosh all the stuff um i reckon underneath with the oil like the drain there is or whatever and the uh, cork around it the gasket around it i reckon she's cracked a little bit under there so either that or it's come a little bit loose now this might look a bit funny I don't know how much you're going to go see because of how low she is. Here we go. She's dripping oil. She's filled the sump underneath there. It's a sump plug, I'm reckon. So that's where I can see it dripping. Sorry about that. It's awful low, so I had to take you in there and show you anyway. So what I'm thinking is, sump plug, cork around the gasket is either, you know, it's split or something. It's come a little bit loose or plug has just given up or whatever. So I've ordered a full service kit for it. So I... It's gonna have new plugs, gonna drop the oil out of it. I've ordered a new little, because they haven't got filters, they've got the little like drainer, strainer things, whatever they call them. You can tell I'm no mechanic, but I'll just say as it is. So, ordered that as well. I ordered some new gaskets, etc. So, on a total, do it all, clean all that up as well. Biggest problem I've got is, because it's so low, you can't get a jack under it, <laughs> which is quite funny. So, shout out to Dan, he's lending me some low boy ramps, which literally connect onto each other, so I can literally just build it reverse the car up enough to then jack it for I can get to access underneath it because I'm not joking when I say how low it is so that's a job for this week shout out to my boy Chris over there as well my neighbour he's ordered a low jack as well like a racing jack as he said he could do with one anyway so Cinderella will go to the prom not ball prom because that's a prom queen so that's the plan let's look at it man so I'm thinking as well, even though I absolutely love it in here, I'm tempted to put the new interior in it. I don't know, what do you think? It kind of suits the way it is, I suppose, at the minute, which I do quite like. But at the same time, it would it look nice keeping all the patina on the outside, because it's got new wheels, it's got a new engine, having the interior in perfect condition. I don't know, let's have a vote on that, right? Let me know what you think, comments down below. So that's a bit of a short and sweet video. Literally just an update about what's going to be happening. Um, we're going to fix the old girl, even though she still drives perfect. So I've done about 20 miles in it, post office runs over the last couple of days. Perfect drives, you know. Oil, there's still loads of oil in it as well. So I checked that first, you know, check a few lines. I got, I'm paranoid with these. I check the lines every week because the last time it split so easy. So, you know, I don't want it going on fire. So quick video. That's me, that's the bug. Take care, I'll see you all soon.